Oh. Mmm. Hey, we hit a nice power cut. Yeah, it was good. And then it got to the apex and then fell to the right. Yeah, that was a good shot. You're gonna go faster when you get the club arcing around you correctly. When you go this way, yeah. there's no speed in it. Okay, Milo, let's talk about speed. We're gonna go skip straight to speed. Because now that my arm's feeling healthy, once I was swinging pain-free, like I'm swinging pain-free now, but I noticed like you and I, whenever we've been working together, we're always trying to like touch into like 170 maybe. Now I'm like, I've been at like 162 would be a good one. So I'm like, I'm off my speed because you know, I've been hurt. So now I'm trying to build up the speed again. But every time before this process, I've tried to build up speed. I've just done this harder, you know? So I want to build like responsible speed, almost like easy feeling speed, effortless power. Maybe okay. somebody would say, okay. So uh, hit one. Go ahead, hit one. Okay. All right, recap, we're going nice, aggressive to here then hands up and turn into it and take out the cheese man over here. Is that too much? Because a lot of people will watch that and be like, man, he's thinking of like five things there. You could probably so, get by with it hitting balls kind of smooth. Okay. Can't play with that. Okay. So maybe just like uh, what I like to do uh, when, when we've done this at like at the schools and stuff is like turn whatever you're thinking into only two things and turn the first thing into a this and the second thing to a that. So in my mind, I'm just thinking this and that rather than like up and left. Blah, blah. So that's something I'm going to try. You like my grip or my two? I, Cause I always see a, a gap there. Is that? I actually wouldn't mind if your right hand was a hair weaker. There like you that. go. Okay. Now I like your grip. Yeah. Keep the flexion there with my turn. That's not gonna be fast, because I missed the center, but I actually think I moved okay. Okay. Yeah, my W was pretty good there, although I was ex too extended at the top. What was that, 58? No, I was 52. 52, okay. Very slow. That, that's the one the first ones I did that's the hooker one mm -hmm. so when that's happening like what's the culprit like obviously the face the 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 head's coming too far from the inside and it's hitting the heel but well so your club face was three degrees shut and your path was 10 degrees to the right okay really that's not a good combination place. yeah right so numbers wise, what do you want to see me try to hit? I want to see your path get really close to zero. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see you get it to the left side of zero. Okay. Okay, that's a more usable shot. That's a lot better shot. Great impact there too. So that was still four degrees right path, but the face was zero. That's exactly what the ball did, cut just a little bit. And what was that? 157. Okay, faster, good. Oh, sh. Mm. I was trying to swing left there. Still swing right, 4.8. Okay. <laughs> so here I'm there. In the, in the graph, I'm doing a pretty good job keeping this cup on the way back. Yeah. But then something here, I feel like I'm crowding and then I'm shutting this. It's because you're going this way. Oh, okay. And so now everything is closed off. You have no, no way of getting the club to go over there like we did with the irons. So do I have to feel here then like I'm always doing like the chair thing or, or getting this way? Yeah, you need to feel the chair low. thing. Yeah. Swing it up to the top. Feel like you let everything kind of drop now. Okay. That direction. Okay. Get this this way before I. Okay. I want your lead side to feel like it just goes out of the way. After that little drop. Mm -hmm. So here, that drop is re squaring a little bit, and then all the speed is rotation. Well, you still went this way in that re rehearsal. Good. Do right? that again. That was the right body motion. Now I want to make sure the club matches up. Okay. Now just 
Left side out of the way. I don't want to hit you. You're not going to hit me. There you go. Here. This way. There you go. Okay. Oh, I don't terrible. want him doing it with his legs. I'm doing it with chest. Would I look like I'm getting kicked in the pants there in my transition? I think when he tries to use his legs, he goes like this. Try that again. Here, that way, around the corner. Closer. Yeah, that was my best golf shot. Not in the middle of the face, but. That's all right. Path was finally, it's getting closer. The path that, was still four to the right. Four right. What are you aiming oh. at? I got it shot. I've got it shooting straight between the. The red and blue? No, the two, the black and the. Black See and See the orange? two black ones way out there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. got it right between those. Yeah, all right. Well, that makes sense. I'm going, I'm, I'm aiming between that red one and blue. Well, that's one. why your path's four to the right. All right. Let me, <laughs> I'll aim between those, those two things. Yeah, I had those as the fairway. Okay. Okay. Now it looks better. Oh, man. That's the shot I can't ever Can't play have. that one. See, that's zero path right there. Okay. So why, why the face was really shut Nine there? degrees shut. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot. All right, good. <laughs> At least I got part of the equation. All right, so zero path. So I'm going to be set up there. Zero path. <clears throat> Okie dokie, now your path is getting zeroed out. Okay, good. Face probably four degrees shut? Yeah, four degrees shut. Okay. And what was the speed of that? That was a little better. 162. Oh, great. Okay. So you're going to go faster when you get the club arcing around you correctly. Mm -hmm. When you go this way, yeah. there's no speed in it. Like this, Milo? Yeah. Okay. See the difference? Uh, I don't see it, but I, well, I, I feel Ed's it. Ed's yeah. over here watching. Yeah. That, when I do that, uh, I wouldn't do that when the ball's there because I feel like I would hit it you will so not far right. Yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> okay. So watch this. So far, you've hit it so far left, so do that. Okay, so I'll do that with a lot more freedom than I've had. <clears throat> okay. Okay. It's all right, you didn't hit it any good, but. We're fast enough now that you can make some actual. Oh yeah, what was the head? One eleven. Okay. Well, that feels more fun. Like I've talking about red lights so much. Like there's a red light on all these swings before. Well, have fun. Get out of the way. I really don't worry about the face at all and just move my body. That's what I need to do. <laughs> That's a great shot. That was good. Yeah, let's let me see the graph here. Very good. So 160. Do I look too zero path, zero face? Great. Zero zero. Do I look too because the hack motion is telling me that I'm making a great backswing and then but I'm getting quite cupped at the top. Um but if I'm not as cupped at the top, then it starts hooking. So is, is that okay for now or it's fine. It's fine for now. Okay. You haven't hit any fades, so. Okay. All right, so here's golf course shot. Like, I'm not really going to think about speed so much, but, like, if I had to fade it, this uh -huh. is what I would do. Okay, show me. I'm a golfer. Like, I can hit shots. So let me try to. This would be my fade swing. I'm going to open up my feet a little bit, and I'm going to set up with the face a little open. Why would you play anything else? I feel like with the fade swing, I do get out of the way more of it. How were the numbers there as far as path, face and path? Um, it missed the face for some reason. Okay. I don't know what got in the way. Maybe I got in the way. So here I'm going this way and then swinging into the left arm. And the thing that I want to get is when I can swing into the left arm and then this goes into that position you want without me having to like torque it this way. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. Because if I feel it. like I have to torque it this way, then I always throw it off of myself that way. 
So, which air swing wise, I can do pretty good. It just looks so much more free, you know? Yeah, do that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, faded. I like fades. Yeah, okay. So, that was so, 112. Good. So talk a, a little bit while we're doing this about, okay, what's the difference between a slap across bad spin loft fade and a fade like you hit that's actually a fade that is zeroed out or even slightly from the inside? The difference is one goes really far and one doesn't. <laughs> right. Good difference. <laughs> um, but the difference in making those two things happen. Because um, from a body movement point of view, they're totally different. They're totally different. Yeah, so everybody usually else the, doesn't like to hit a fade because they think of that slap the, across. The slap across fade is usually created by energy from the outside of the... So if we think about how we're going to energize the golf club, yeah. if I put energy into it from the outside of the circle with my arms, mm -hmm. that's going to be a slap across fade. Okay. If I put energy into it from the inside, from kind of my, my middle, and I just hit it on the upward part of my swing with zero swing direction, it's going to fade. Okay. So the slap across fade usually is an outside in, outside in move. Yes. And the tour fade is the inside out fade. There you go. Maybe. Okay. So what I think the, the only thing I have to really feel about, like when I'm swinging those ones that look real free, just air swing, the only thing I'm, th I'm thinking about is getting, he getting here and leaving this up quite a bit of, of time. And then just not feeling this, this on yeah, the way You don't down need there. to feel any of that. Yeah, yeah. I can you. just go here and like really swing into that left arm and let it sling off, and then I don't have to bow it down or anything. So close. Good shot. Yeah, I think I, that actually might be a fitting thing because that was really good, and I maybe just need a little more. One sixty-one. There we go. Zero path face a hair closed. It was like five close. Yeah, it could be where you hit it on the face too. Okay, it let, reads that clo face closed. It yeah, could let me, be on the heel. Am I usually healing it? Slightly. Okay. Let me get on that hot high toe, right? Looks like his face is a little closed at a dress, I think. That's my normal. Yeah. That was so in the heel. And that was me trying to toe it. I, I healed it more. better that should have been better with the face right it was fine but your driver spins 1300 <laughs> it's not spinning enough that was good your face and path were both pretty good okay. that time good all right but you actually got face and path both to the left but the main part of this video that i really like milo is that i've hit like probably 30 drives and you're and not crying all, speed my arm doesn't bug me at all Good. So that's good. So, so after I hit the drive, I want to talk a little bit about like going forward now that I'm trying to build speed and, and I do it on my own, like give me like something that I can do slow. And then when I'm trying to, then I can kind of ladder that up. <laughs> so close. I felt like I was going to hit a great one there. <laughs> mm. It's that amazing one. how we got you zeroed out on path now. Oh, that's good. Every swing, the path is zero point something. Okay. Your face is wild. I think mainly, like, more than anything, the face being wild, I don't know if this is right or wrong, is like, if we had spray here, I am all over the... Well, that's part like, of it, because the face the has some spot. bulge and roll in it, so... Yeah, yeah. Like, like, how can I get the, a little bit more sweet spot control? Like, I want my spread to be a lot tighter. So Milo and I are about to go play golf, so this is what I'll do on the golf course. I'll look at my target. I'm just gonna feel the hand stay up a little bit more. Don't get kicked in the pants, just kind of then go smoothly through it. That'd be a bit what I'm trying to do. Okay, not terrible. A little slower. Yeah, it was 108, 158. Yeah. Path was 0.0, .0. face was two to the left. Okay. So you hit a little. That's, in, that's so interesting how now, especially like adjusting my aim a little bit, that we're like, the path is basically, like that is a really tight range of yeah, paths. Yeah. They've all been zero point something on path, but yeah. your, your face conditions wander a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. 
I just need to get, I don't have any good feeling for like what to do with the face. Like I, I have a really good feeling what to do with the path, you know? Path but what's confusing good. me is the earlier when we were talking about, you know, being more this way to give you a green light. Like if I get like this way, I'm not feeling a green well, light. We don't all. want it right there with this club as much. You're getting it too much there. Okay. What I want. Yeah, yeah. I want you to feel like the club is there. Uh huh. It matches my spine more uh, or less. Aim, aim between those two things where we're supposed to be aimed and show me that because I don't think you were going exactly where you were saying. So aim between those things and then like this. Ah, that's much further. Okay, stay there. This is what I feel. I'm right there. Yeah, look how close that sucker is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how much it's going to want to go this way. You are much more, even though you're open, you're much more, you're much longer on the right arm than I, I than I thought you would have been. Yeah, I'm like that. I mean, you have longer, you have longer arms relative to your body than me, but still, that's surprising. Which, whenever I've done my swing or gears or whatever, it shows I overfold this tight and then the sling. So, so, so that's uh, part of why you smash your right elbow. Okay, so wider right arm, right about there, right, Milo? Mm -hmm. So I'm here, and then I'm right about there. Yep. Chest is already. Okay. Chest is already squared up. Wider right arm, hit it with my chest. Ooh, that was really close. Damn. Frustrating. <laughs> You're so good at getting the path. Like, look at the path. What was that? Zero point zero. <laughs> I've never had that. I've always been kind of wild with that. Nice positive attack angle. And uh, oh, it was like plus something. It was plus seven. Well, wow. you okay. get up on that a lot. Well, but, up is also left too, though, right? Yes. Yeah. But you hit it with the face nine degrees shut. Yeah. So nine degrees shut and going up is like yeah. effectively. Okay. Longer right arm. Relax that face a lot. That was great. That's a good one there. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. You swing really slow with that one, but it missed a bunch of stuff. 150. Okay, the club path again, another zero point something. Okay, yep. cool. All right, so going forward, for not, not just for me, but for everybody who's working on getting, um, getting more speed, but like in a responsible way where it does this and you're getting the speed from what? If I'm not getting speed from here, what am I getting speed well, from? Well, that does extend. Yeah, yeah that you're, happens. Yes. Yeah. You're getting it from a, a whole combination of things. So shifting of pressure, the unwinding, and then the lever system unwinds. Mm -hmm. And just synchronizing it all together at the right times will give you plenty of speed. Great. Cool. So, okay. so what to work on go, going forward as I'm want to get through the 160s and back again to touching 170. Like what, what can I work on so that I, as I start to build speed, I don't start to do it the wrong way. Well, first thing I want to make sure that we work on moving the golf club with your big muscles, with you, your body. Yeah. So give me like one of those slow things to do. Something I can, I can do like at the range or whatever, slow. So I want you to feel kind of a big heave, mm -hmm. yep. but real smooth. Tall, tall, tall. Let it all wind up. Let it load. Now you're just going to feel a little flex and fall and unwind. And if you can do that correctly, that ball should never, ever hook. And this ball, when I'm working on this, should carry like 60 yards. Uh, or 120 or 30 yards. Oh, okay, gotcha. And that's the shape. See how it didn't hook? No. It actually cut. Yeah, because there, like, it had enough time. I never got ahead of it. I never and got Now you matched out your face and path angles matched up correctly. Yeah, if that was at 115 miles an hour, that would, it would be a quite a drive. Okay, so let me try to ladder that up just a little bit. And that's how I would do it. I would just slow. So that carried what? What did that carry? Uh, that ball carried 115. Okay. Let me try to carry this 150, so about just past that red. Just missed the face, but it did cut. It did. So the path was one to the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, to the left. There you go. Yeah, for face first time was three today. to the left. You hit it on the heel. Yeah. 
All right, final shot. Okay. Full thing. If, so there, the difference in those, Milo felt right arm was much wider the whole time. And then this went more this way and around. Hey, we hit a nice power cut. Yeah, it was good. And then it got to the apex and then fell to the right. Yeah, that was a good shot. So that was 161. That was your fastest that ball speed felt of the day. so smooth and slow. It's that surprising. That was the fastest one you've hit so far today. Yeah, yeah. And, and you carried it what was the, what was 76. The, what was the smash of that? That one was smash factor yeah. 1.48. Yeah, that's great for me. Okay, great. If you guys are interested in seeing this entire video, which took a very long time to make because I hit about a billion shots, um, go to the, hit the, the join button below. A lot of people are having a lot of fun with that, putting up all the raw footage as well as a lot of exclusive videos. Haven't had any complaints. And then go over to MiloLinesGolf.com and use the promo code BeBetterMilo, I believe. But make sure because it's, it'll be in the description below. And become a member of Milo Lines Golf. Milo is doing a golf school this week with uh, members from his school. And uh, people are making great progress over there. And I'm a member as well. He, pu he puts up a lot of cool stuff there. And you get a discount if you use that promo code below. All right, we're, you hit the subscribe button now because we're going to be going out on the course and playing golf and uh, capturing a lot of cool stuff out there. Bye. Okay. We better get going. It's 2.45. Yeah, yeah. We